Aloha and welcome to Mischief Tutorials. Today we're going to dive right into Adobe After Effects uh, to create a text animation that is very simple but very dynamic and um, a lot of people use these in their promotional videos and uh, some introduction videos. Um, but check it out. Usually they'll have like cool sound effects but we don't have that at this point. We can show you how to do that in a later tutorial. So today we're going to straight uh, go straight into it and we're going to create a new composition. We're going to call it text animation. And I've chosen the NTSC um, preset and these are all the properties that come up with it. I like to work with half resolution because it takes a lot longer if you keep it at full resolution and this is going to be five seconds long. Hit OK. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create our text. On PC hold control and hit T or on a Mac you can hold command and press T or you can just click on the T up on the panel right here I'm gonna write my first word which is mischief and we'll click away and um, I'm going to duplicate that layer by clicking and I can command D on a Mac control D on PC double click and I'm going to call this one FX okay so now if you click V, um, it brings up your selection tool and now you can move these different texts around. So I'm going to line this up so I know where it's going to be situated and so FX I might scale that up a bit just to give it some sort of a, you know, a little bit of a an edge. And so that's our text. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the position on Mischief by hitting on P and I'm gonna bring it up to about two seconds so I want it to start animating at two seconds so I'm gonna click on the stopwatch click on mischief and then hold shift and move it across while you hold shift it makes it straight that way it doesn't look edgy or looks like it's coming from different angles so I'm gonna move it right off the stage and then I'm going to move a couple frames and I'm going to bring that back in if you want to zoom out, there's different ways. You can use the side arrows uh, that's next to the M on the keyboard, and you can zoom out and zoom in that way. Or you can use the scroll button on your mouse. So we're going to click, and we're going to hold shift and drag that back in. About that looks pretty good. And then we're going to hit page down. We're only going to move one frame. Click, hold shift, and drag across. Now we want this to kind of move across. Um, very slowly and it looks pretty cool um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the keyframe and drag it out to about three seconds that looks about good and so as you can see it's gonna jump in and then it's going to kinda slow down and that's what we want and so to finish the animation we're going to skip down a couple frames and then we're going to click hold shift and drag it off the stage and so our animation already looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the effects and it's going to be coming in from the other side. If you click P, bring up the position, line it up with the position of the first word, mischief. Click on the stopwatch, click hold shift and move off the stage going the other way. Now line up with the second keyframe, click hold shift and bring it in. That looks about good and then I want it to kinda like cross over with mischief so I'm gonna hit page down for one frame click and drag it across I'd say about there it looks pretty good now we're gonna drag that keyframe and line it up with the third of the keyframes so it lines up like that finally the last keyframe line it up click hold shift and drag completely off the stage now if we play that back on our RAM preview all you do is click up on this top little button or if you're on a desktop you can actually click the period button or the full stop and it will um, start your par uh, RAM preview for you so we can already see that we have the animation but there's a bit of a difference because in this one you can kind of see that there uh, is a little bit of a blur and that is the motion blur function now this is pretty much complete but all we need to do is click on the motion blur which is this button right here and also select motion blur for both of the titles now if we do the RAM preview once again 
See that? That's what it's kind of supposed to sound like. But that's all for today. Um, we can show you on another tutorial how to create the text to make it look somewhat 3D and also a nice little background that brings a lot of depth into your animation. But that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe to Mischievous Productions, and we will see you in the next tutorial.